Hello. Okay. Okay. So very good afternoon, and all. Okay. So today, what I'm going to talk about is uh, so uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, how how we have used this monoscan large scale production, and uh, I am going to share my user experience. Okay. And here my intro, and. Uh, I'm working for Reliance Jew, and I'm so I'm with the community since 2014. Okay, so what is Monoska? Okay, so Monoska is a monitoring as a service, and you can do tenant level. The uh, the good thing is the tenant level monitoring, and uh, you can catch uh, real time metrics, and it is multi tenancy, and it's highly scalable and fault tolerant. And they are using the push-based metrics type, and it can handle uh, thousands of, sorry, hundreds of thousands of metrics, and you can store the data for a year. Okay, so here's the nice architecture of Monasca. Truly, I love it. Okay, uh, uh, so okay, I'll go with one by. So first of, so they have this Monasca API. This is the restful, restful API to handle this uh, metrics, alarm, and notifications. And followed by there is in the message queues. The message queue here there is in the Kafka because this is highly distributed and scalable. And uh, they are using uh, other components like um, notification engines and threshold notification engines just to notify through some channel like Slack or Webhook or uh, Mail. And threshold is just to add the threshold values in the compute and it will uh, uh, change. It will define the alarm state. Okay. And uh, Okay, next I go to this persister. Okay, it will collect these alarms, uh, uh, alarm states and the transition that it will store in this measurement databases. Uh, currently, for measurement database, uh, upstream is supporting with Vertica in FlexDB, and uh, Cassandra is on progress. I think it's fixed now, it is realized. And uh, they are storing the configurations uh, in con uh, config database, that is MySQL currently, and Postgres is in progress. And uh, quite, uh, for uh, end users like uh, operation guys, they are providing like Horizon dashboard and they're providing Monasca client and they're providing Graf Grafana dashboard, that's a that's nice one. And uh, they are using the Monasca ag agent to retrieve the metrics from the system. Okay. Here the just short notes of the same what I explained in the before slide. Okay, so Monasca you can deploy it two way. Uh, uh, that is one through Docker and this to these uh, Kubernetes. And uh, in our setup, we have we have come we have done with a uh, uh, Docker in swarm mode, and we have used the cluster of the backend for shared file system. Okay, so just let me complete the Monasca components. Okay, and as I told the Monasca agent components, uh, the Monasca agent is to retrieve the uh, metrics from the system, and it's purely Python based. And uh, Monos the Monosca agent uh, is the combination of collector, forwarder, and uh, statsd combinations. Okay, and uh, so the collector will collect the metrics from the systems, and it collects like system CPUs or RAM, all those things. And the forwarders they take it forward, and uh, statsd you can use for the applications. Okay. Uh, and the Monosca collector, you can configure the interval at what frequent interval you want to run the collector, like uh, 30 seconds, or what is the interval you want to run the uh, collector. Okay. So, as I told, the Monosca architecture wise, or the installation wise, is quite good, okay. Uh, than any other uh, uh, OpenStack components which I worked for, which I have worked so far, okay. And it won't touch. It won't impact the control plane, and it uh, there is no need of downtime. And you can you, parallelly you can integrate with your existing OpenStack control plane. Okay, so Monosca agent is the one, one one which it touches your control plane, but you can still run it on top of uh, your control plane using the virtual environment. Okay, they are supporting packages they have. You can use uh, virtual environments to it will prevent your any interface with the existing package on the con your control plane on the bare metal. Okay. And uh, it's the safest way you can, uh, and uh, you can use the Monosca setup that is a recommended one to set up and configure your Monosca agent. And uh, the agent configuration way you can customize on your own. It will be under the directory like etc Monosca agent. 
It will be agent.yaml file. There you can configure uh, your, your Monosky agent, the username, password, whatever you want to uh, based on your setup. Okay. And in your plugins, there's a lot of good plugins like uh, libert, memory, load, and HTTP checks, uh, disk, and there are also supporting Kubernetes plugins as well, and uh, Zookeeper and other uh, plugins also. Okay. So as I told, uh, Monosca is providing uh, uh, induces a UI in two way. One, one is through Arizona and one is through Grafana. Okay. Uh, in, Arizona, in Arizona itself, you can go and create a, uh, alarm definitions and alarms and notifications, similar things you can do in Grafana as well in the CLI. So what we have done in our setup is uh, we, have, we have exposed uh, the Monosca data uh, to end users through Grafana. We are, we are not integrated in the Arizona uh, because it's uh, based on our setup requirements we can't integrate. And so we have exposed the data through Grafana to the end users. And uh, this is, uh, okay, this first slide is about um, monitoring the compute nodes. So totally we have uh, 700 plus compute nodes in our setup, okay? And uh, we, have, we have run in all the uh, com uh, compute nodes, it's running successfully, there is no issues on it. And uh, we are monitoring the compute nodes health report like RAM usage and uh, what is the disk usage of compute nodes. Also, we are doing tenant level monitoring, like this the end user will do. So end user, what you do, we will just give the username, password uh, for the end users. Uh, 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 we, are, we, are, we are with uh, this uh, open LDAP, sorry. Uh, yep, we are with the open LDAP, so uh, end users will uh, log in through the open LDAP credentials to this one. And uh, to their, so this uh, end users will see the metrics for that project only. So, uh, like this, the tenant level monitoring, uh, we, are, we are providing service to the end users. And this is the one we can monitor your OpenStack services like RabbitMQ and you can monitor your object and identity services and compute an image. Okay. So here is our uh, uh, deployment uh, architecture. Okay. So what we have done is uh, we have created three, uh, we, have, uh, we, have, uh, we have created three bare metal, dedicated, we have given three bare metal for setting up Monosca, okay, in a Docker Swarm uh, mode. What we have done is we have just separated the stack file, Kafka and Zookeeper separately and Monosca stack separately. And uh, along with that, we have just added Kafka Manager uh, to, to monitor uh, the Kafka latency. And uh, we are in the backend, we are using the GlusterFS for persistent storage of containers. So that's a shared, shared file storage. Uh, when you're running the Docker Swarm, it's good to have GlusterFS kind of uh, backend. So when, once the container goes down, it will sync up with the, uh, it will sync up when the, when the containers bring up on other compute nodes. So it will sync up and it will keep the copies on all the, all the paired nodes. Okay. So these are the Monosco Docker services we are uh, running, like uh, databases like InfluxDB and MySQL and the Grafana and uh, Kafka, and uh, we are using the Monosco uh, components like notification, persistent, threshold, and API. Alarms also there, but it's not here. Okay. So as I told, uh, we, have, we have done the this deployment in our 700 plus compute nodes. Uh, we are having more than uh, 20,000 plus VMs in our, uh, in our environment. And um, so when we, after, in, uh, first we have done the deployment in the staging environment, it's like 150 plus compute nodes. Uh, there we have been facing any issues when we are going to productions. Uh, we have faced some uh, latency. And based on that, we tried to do, uh, we, we handled some uh, challenges and we have done some performance tunings. So here the some uh, values I can show you to you. So, we are just uh, <coughs> calculate how much producer message is happening per second. It's like a 8330. And we have optimized that, uh, uh, we have optimized uh, the main challenges for is to handle the Kafka actually. And uh, now uh, working with the uh, upstream uh, because uh, they, have, uh, they, have, they have fixed something and the latest one having good uh, uh, feature to handle large scale uh, uh, deployment. And, this is the one, what are the performance tuning when you are uh, handling in the large scale setup, with, like the log retention bytes, and we are handling the persister 
yeah, the main thing in the persister is the uh, hard portion for us to handle it. So it keep on dies because they say that Kafka is not live and I could identify find. But Kafka is live. So what we did is we just increased the number of persister whenever that it goes down. Also, we have increased the metric batch size and the time size from default value like 1,000 to 5,000 and 2,000 based on the uh, experience, what you have experienced. And uh, we have just increased that uh, storage period of uh, data in the InfluxDB like 45 days to collect the metrics. And uh, uh, this data we have used later for our uh, building purpose as well. OK. Also, we, across, uh, we come across a few of the common issues like uh, whenever uh, uh, you're having a lo uh, more load in your OpenStack counterplane, definitely have to take care of your uh, MT values, OK? So like this, uh, we have increased our MT values uh, uh, to smoothen that uh, load uh, balancing. And second thing is related to the Monosca. OK, when we are handling the data in large-scale setup, we have faced issues with the Monos Ma Monosca MySQL components stating that too many connections error. So for that, what we did is uh, we just work, uh, did a workaround, and we have increased the maximum connections values to 10,000. OK? And the third one is the uh, optional one. Uh, that is uh, our recommend, because we are, we are storing all the data in the cluster of us, as I told before. And when, uh, if, if you do clean up the cluster of us data, if there is a story, uh, if the storage uh, exists in the uh, compute nodes, uh, storage exists on the nodes where the Monosca is a host, uh, OK? What we do is when, when you clean up that uh, data in the cluster efforts, and uh, when you spin up a new uh, Grafana, there you come across some kind of Grafana DB migration error. For the workaround is, what you did is we just logged into the MySQL, Graf My MySQL, data, MySQL and we chosen this Grafana dash database, and we have altered the table by removing the duplicate one. This is the workaround. If you come across this kind of DB migration error. OK. Also, we have handled uh, other Monosca components like Monosca Persister and Monosca Threshold. And uh, Monosca Persister, uh, as I told, uh, we have uh, still the issues uh, ha we are having. And whenever we face the issues, what we do is we do scaling. Uh, like uh, we'll increase the values like from 8 to 12 currently. And we have just uh, uh, tuned the values of batch size and history batch size and uh, uh, wait time as well that I have not uh, uh, pasted here. And also, we have just uh, we have faced some issues with the heap uh, uh, heap size because there is in the Java in the back. Obviously, it's not happen. But when we come across the issue, we just uh, increase we just work did the work with the heap uh, heap values. Okay. So as I told, uh, there is a challenge with the persister uh, and uh, working with the community. And uh, let, let let's um, let's let me upgrade my uh, Kafka to the latest one. And hopefully, it will uh, resolve my issue. And uh, this is the issue. Uh, whenever I'm using it, I'm, this is the issue I'm facing it out. So what this workaround I'm doing is just I do scale up and uh, scale down. And the Kafka latency happens like uh, crores, in, like, uh, crores of seconds. Okay. So, whenever, so what the, when I increase these values, like it, will, it will bring down the latency, and I'll get the real-time metrics. Okay. And uh, we have we have utilized this Monosca uh, Monosca uh, Monosca for our billing project as well, and we have taken this uh, uh, output and we have uh, we have we have called we have just uh, built for our in-house projects. So here is the sample one. Sorry, I just wrapped it very quickly because uh, sorry. Question to you, uh, Prakash here, and uh, thank you for presenting the use case uh, for uh, billing, especially Monasca. We have never thought of Monasca for billing. We were always thinking, okay, it's for analysis, but you have probably put some innovation there. And uh, looking forward to uh, is this you do it for compute, you do it for storage. What's the story on networking? Any? Anything you can share with us? Beg your pardon? Networking, measuring the yeah, networking. Yeah, yeah. OK. So networking things, right? We are using the open control, OK? So we are having challenges. Uh, when, uh, when we uh, turn on uh, Monosca 
network metrics, okay? Uh, so that Monoscan network, it will query like a frequently like 30 seconds. So it's breaking our open control. So I'm working with the open control uh, uh, team uh, how to fix that uh, open control issues. Then I can turn on and I can monitor the network uh, values. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay. That's the only thing we are lacking. The rest of the metrics we are completely releasing. Yep. So we would like to see the full uh, networking as well added in the next time you come here. Sure. Uh, we'd like to... Uh, showcase this. This is a good presentation. Thank you. And thank you for bringing this. Thank you. Hello. Hi. So the question is, did you try before other uh, system like telemetry, for example? before of Monasca. Did you try for the OpenStack monitoring telemetry? Yes, I use this uh, Cinematic, and, and, Nokia, or all, all those things, yep. And the second question, why at the end you okay. choose Monasca? Thank you. Oh, this I haven't explained, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, the thing is right, as I told, uh, uh, this, uh, this integration of uh, this cilometer, right, uh, in our setup, okay. So cilometer we already in our control plane, we have that, so, okay. And uh, we can't integrate uh, the auth and Panko or Nokia, all those things in our setup. Not, uh, those things, in, uh, we have to bring it in our salt stack models, okay. That's a bit hard for us. So I found this, so I found it, I just like, uh, come across this Monasca. As I told, that integration with the control plane is uh, is easy. It won't touch the control plane, and is uh, that's why I, uh, that's why I uh, used Monasca for my billing purpose. Yeah. Any more questions? Since there are no questions, they can wind up, I think. But excellent job. We would like to see this yeah. uh, scale further. Yeah. You have gone up to 700 nodes. Okay. And in a telco domain, usually nodes, there is no limit. You can go thousands, you can go ten thousands. So. Uh, obviously, in FlexDB, I don't know how you are going to scale. And also, another thing is probably, I'm thinking, uh, is your latency, can you improve by using NVMEs? Yeah, non-volatile databases. Like non-volatile kind of yeah. things, right? Yeah. Is yeah, that? I'm thinking about let's uh, work around it down the line. I'll talk to community Vitek here, okay. talk to them, and i sort it out. Yeah. Okay, so you, Monaska community is handling this? No, 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 I talk to them. I okay. talk to them. Let me come up with the answer. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's good to hear. So I would like to thank Vita Vitak uh, all time. He supported me whenever I'm doing, uh, whenever I'm facing the challenges. He and his people has helped me a lot. So I'm thank thanking to him. Oh, thank you.